Good morning. I want to thank everyone for coming this morning. Special thanks to Mayor Bradshaw and Mayor Akins for attendance uh, this morning. I also like to thank and recognize our city manager Ty Ross and his staff for setting things up for us this morning for this press conference. Thank you for that. I also want to re remind everybody that the city parks are still closed with the exception of walking tracks and trails. the tracks and trails that we have. All city services and LUB services to the general public and ratepayers are still under the same guidelines that we've been following for the last two weeks. Um, Governor Lee's executive order number 17 and 21 are still in effect uh, until tomorrow, 11.59 p.m. Central Time. We're not sure if that's going to be extended. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see on that. Scheduled LUB workshop at 4.30 uh, this afternoon and the City Council workshop at 6.30. Workshops will be conducted utilizing uh, the Zoom app and all the login information is on each respected website. Uh, we're having to conduct these workshops this way due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, the City Council workshop will also be streamed on... One, the importance of registering for the 2020 census, that's kind of taken a back seat um, with the coronavirus outbreak, but this is just very important for our community uh, to have the accurate population numbers for state and federal funding. So you can go to 2020census.gov to report these numbers, and it's just important that we do that. I'd also like to encourage small businesses plan that's offered by the federal government. Uh, this information is readily available at most banks, loan institutions, and online. Uh, this will provide up to eight weeks of payroll expenses, which can then be hopefully forgiven as a grant. Also be aware of scammers. With the stimulus checks that are being issued, uh, do not reply to any email or text requesting bank account or other information. Uh, just be on guard about that. Um, and then also, uh, just remind everyone that, you know, we're, we're coming down to the end of this thing, we hope, and uh, just everybody stay together as far as uh, we go through it together. And just remember to follow the guidelines of CDC and our, our Tennessee Department of Health. So at this time, I'll turn it over to Mayor Akins and then Mayor Bradshaw. Thank you, Mayor, very much for hosting us this morning and, and certainly uh, glad to be in Wildman. If I can get used to this microphone. Can everybody hear me? You think? All right. Uh, let me just reiterate uh, what Mayor Harris said as far as the uh, census goes. It's so very important to uh, Loudoun County to be able to get so get those census uh, in. Uh, it'll certainly help us uh, when those numbers get in. When those numbers get into the uh, uh, federal government as far as uh, grant monies and things of that nature. Uh, Little River City remains uh, open. Uh, obviously, you have to uh, you have to call for an appointment to get into City Hall, or or certainly uh, you can go through the drive through services at utilities and pay your light bill. We continue to work with the residents up there to uh, uh, if they can't pay their bill to to make sure that uh, their power is not cut off. And we'll certainly work with those folks. Uh, uh, Whatever, whatever is needed, we'll be able to, uh, we feel like we'll be able to accommodate it. And, and uh, our parks, uh, just like Loudoun and most of the area, uh, they remain open as far as walking, but the playgrounds and things of that nature remains closed. And that will continue until the governor lifts, uh, lifts his order throughout the state. With that being said, Mayor Bradshaw, call on you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Akins. Thank you, Mayor Harris, for hosting us this morning in Loudoun City. The, uh, just to reiterate uh, what Mayor Harris and Mayor Akins have talked about. It. Census, that is a very, get the census done is a very important process. A lot of funding involved. If you like your low property tax rates, go ahead and continue to, uh, to fill out those census forms. Let's get those done. I won't give up on mine. The, uh, as far as I know, as far as the COVID goes, we're still holding steady at five active cases. We've had a total of 16. Of those 16, 11 have uh, officially been determined as recovered. And
And so uh, out of 200, and I think we around 220 cases. Did get through numbers yesterday, I'm assuming the state finally took a day off. And so uh, that must be pretty nice. The, uh, but we should have new numbers coming in today. The uh, Loudoun County continues to remain functionally open. If you need something out of any of our offices, just ask if you do call ahead, just like uh, the two cities, and call ahead for that and attempt to, uh, to get, make, set up an appointment. It just makes life a little bit easier. Still restricted access. Uh, everything that the Relief comes out of the answer. Either yes, it is, or yes, it is. We're going to uh, just assume that it it is what it is because if you start speculating and somebody gets in a bind that way. The um, want to encourage everyone to continue to work together. I couldn't be any prouder or happier uh, of our county at the way we've all come together through this. And this has been just a, a somewhat of a trying ordeal. It's a new ordeal for all of us, but. We've all stepped up and we've all pitched in and it's just been uh, an incredible uh, run through this COVID pan pandemic. And you know, it just says a lot about the people of Loudoun County, of, of Loudoun City, Lenore City, as well as Greenback, Philadelphia. And so uh, it has just been uh, outstanding and just humbling to see everybody come together and we truly are blessed to live in this county that we live in. The, um, and I know I'd forget something if I didn't write it down. Testing. Testing, yes. Thank you, Mayor Harris. The uh, Saturday, uh, the 18th, from 9 to 12, at the Loudoun County Health Department, that it's at the corner of Raider Avenue and Commerce Street, we'll have drive-through testing. Now, they, the state and the access to the test has increased, so the state has actually broadened some of the restrictions on testing. Now, they are hoping people will just get tested if you have some symptoms, whether it's just a call for, you know, if, it's, if you're perfectly healthy, you feel fine, you probably don't need to be tested. Now, are they gonna turn you away? That's strictly up to them, but uh, these tests as they're coming in, we do ask that, you know, maybe risk, be a risk. Maybe you were exposed and you just wanna know, but don't do it just to be tested. Don't be tested out of curiosity. That's all that I think they're gonna ask. And, and so uh, I just ask that we continue to work together again Again, if you're at home, you got some time off here, take 10 minutes, do your census, because that is so much uh, federal and state funding comes through that, it's important. And uh, continue to uh, pray for, your, for our leaders nationally and state, and I would ask them for local level as well. We're going to get through this, and like I said, I, one thing I've, I've enjoyed saying throughout this whole thing, if there's been any enjoyment, is that we are Loudoun County and we are strong. And we will continue to be strong as long as we continue to work together. Thank you. Mayor Harris. Thank you, Mayor Akins, Mayor Bradshaw. Does anybody have any questions? We have a lot of concerns and questions about the waterways. Are they open or are they not? The boat ran. TWRA has opened, so left them open, right, Mayor Bradshaw? One, one day they said it was open, one day they said it was closed. So we just, a lot of people are confused as to whether or not you can be on the water or on the side of the water or both. Well, now, TVA has closed their public access areas. Most of your boat ramps around this area are TRDA, or TRDA, uh, TRDA and TWRA. Too many acronyms in government. The, uh, but as far as I know, we're open. I talked to TWRA agent uh, last week. They have no problem with it as long as you're licensed and uh, you know, and you're up to date on your title and everything. And there's some, of course, there's actually a little bit of leeway with it with the tag. Most of the tag places being closed. But uh, the only ones I know that are shut down are indeed the TVA public access. Everything else should be good to go. And actually, encourage. Do you have anything, Mary? I, I think uh, Dan, that's just a uh, a room or a rumor or a fake news. It's just like it, it was going around that, that all law enforcement was stopping people on the road. That's just not the case. And, and uh, of course, uh, I checked with, with TWRA. That's not the case. You are allowed on the water just like you always have been. So uh, it's just uh, fake news. I'm sure they'd encourage you to still maintain social distancing and things like that and not go in large groups. But thanks for that question. Any other questions? Are you going to adhere to the, what the governor does? Or, you know, how you make your decision on what? The, we will. Yeah, we'll we'll follow his guidelines. Yes. Right. Do y'all have any problem with him tracking us and our cell phones like the governor does? I personally don't. You know, it's it, that's a that's a. Uh, I, I don't have a problem with it, but it's obviously that's a, a state federal. Uh, uh, 
law or not a law but a, a mandate I guess and, and, and certainly we're going to abide by whatever whatever they come up with but, but as far as uh, we're concerned I think but uh, uh, it's that's not our call. Mm -hmm. I knew it was just a major concern with some of the other like <clears throat> Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs he has a major problem. Well you know see how you all felt about <laughs> I, I'm not real wild about it. Uh, you know supposedly it's anonymous I know how that works sometimes, or you hear, I'm not a big conspiracy theorist either, but you know, that study came out, and the governor's encouraged folks to be out on the outside, enjoy the outdoors. Just because you go out of your house and they're counting that as a violation of the, the act, you know, give Live County a D minus, and that just, that, that set wrong with me. Anything mm -hmm. less than A plus is, is wrong. <laughs> My question is actually what the um, plan of response was to those low grades, the D minus and F. What what do you all plan to do to raise those grades? Well, I think we continue to do what we're doing. I'm not real worried about those grades because, you know, just because I walk outside doesn't mean I'm violating. If I get on my, well, they violated me all weekend because I've been out turkey hunting. Mm -hmm. They violated me when I went over to drive through or drive in church yesterday. They can have those. That's just, you, those are those numbers that can be misconstrued and used any way they want to twist and turn them. And they're encouraging people to go out and visit and dine, go through drive throughs and curb service and go out and walk and things like that. So, you're going to violate it just from that regard. So, and I, and I would add too. I mean, I would encourage, uh, and I'm sure these two gentlemen as well would, is continue to try to to shop locally and shop through the drive-throughs and, and and help keep our restaurants open. And you know, there uh, most of them that we talk to is is 40 to 60 percent behind in revenues, and and uh, it's so important that we uh, that we continue. I think to to go to the takeouts and go through the drive throughs to help help those businesses. Any other question? As both mayors have said, you know, we're going to get through this working together and we've, we've been asked to stay apart, you know, do your part, stay apart, but just because we're staying apart don't mean we're alone. Uh, we need to, as been mentioned in other press conferences, need to keep a check on our elderly and each other, do, do things for those that can't do for themselves, find opportunities to use this in a positive way. So uh, hopefully we're at the tail, getting close to the tail end of it and we can start opening businesses back up and getting things back to normal. So hopefully that'll come sooner than later. All right, thank you all for coming.